the cryptocurrency market is down 7 percentage in last 24 hours. So now we are closing on towards 2 trillion dollar mark and as you look at many different assets you are like okay all of them are going down you know whether you agree or not this just look like it's a coordinated go down or a panic even happening in various assets so when you look at this say before when we were talking about this say i actually uh, was highlighting this to my members say we are still open now at that time we were like forty-six thousand, right and we were breaking below this moving average you can see so if you are breaking down from here what you are going to do is to reach the next level of support so the next level of support happens to be near forty thousand dollars now the problem there is you can see all these candle close here with a long wick to the downside right so that particular stuff can be going down even lower say $38,000 why because you look at this moving average and as the moving average come high they say this is 50 day moving average on a weekly which we are crossing to the downside now then this is the 100 day moving average on a weekly coming up right so by the time you consolidate here chances are you may have a week lower to that 38k range so now you go look at the Bitcoin what does that mean and it's like 8 percentage correction to that 40,000 range, which is not that heavy, right? But you do have to understand for some assets, that is not the case. Say so Solana hit with another network incident causing degraded performance. So we already had something there happening. Now, yes, it's a good network. You know, it was having utility and all. And uh, back in October, when we were doing this in the price action, I was clear. I'm like, okay, fine. This is an opportunity for anyone who missed to take profit here can take the profit even a little bit higher than that and then slowly move out. So that's back in October. And then now you're looking at the price action and you're like, yeah, we were there. And the, then we corrected back down and slowly went up to test about that. And then we are coming back down. So now as an asset, it's like 10x, 55x, then another 12x in wave 3. So the structure there is clear. You are slowly moving up. But the trend, you are still inside that. But if you are a wave guy looking at these, you are like, okay, fine, I'm, I'm moving out, right? Even though the utility is there, you are having bad news when you are at the top area and people are taking profits. So look at the MACD. It's going all the way back down. Look at the RSI, it's going all the way back down. Now we are close to that support. That's why I'm like, okay, we are in this range. We may drop towards this range, say 70, 75. That's a 50 percent drop from here. And then we may consolidate day. Now we don't know whether it's going to go up or not, but the ROI would be much lower. Now that's for negative news. Now you go look at something with positive news. Now this is surprising, right? You get something with negative news and the price is going down great. But you're watching great positive news for Cardano and Cardano is not actually pumping crazy, right? You go look at Bitcoin, it's pushing the market to the downside. Then you're like, okay, Cardano is also moving to the downside. So if it's going down to the bottom of the support, it still has around 15 percentage to the downside. So when BTC is going down 8 percentage, other assets can go way lower than that. But look at those indicators. It's at the support. If the MACD is going to cross from here, it's going to only give you a divergence, right? If you are going to make a lower low in the price, but the RSI and MACD is giving you a divergence, that's a buy. Now, that's when you come on to look at XRP. Fine, we have talked about, you know, positive news, negative news, and all of these coming together. But we discussed about this in the last video, right? Yes, we were talking, okay, we are going to break through this one. We're going to reach that 0.7 range. We may have a week lower, but the majority of the support lies here at 0.5. But that has been the double bottom support. So chances are high that we are going to respect that 0 0.68, 0 0.67. Now, 
Remember, in your exchange, if you don't have liquidity, if you ha don't have that volume, you're going to have even lower wicks. We have experienced that previously, right? Many members were saying, okay, I in my exchange, we just went to like 0.6. But if you look at the charts, you're like 0.69. Many exchanges, 0.67. But it depends on which exchange you are. And if you are leveraged, that's going to be kicking out, right? It just gets liquidated. Now, what is the value of this? If you are looking at this, when the price is going down, should I buy more? What should I do? And other stuff. The main question is, what will be the value of XRP as an asset, right? It's an asset in a network, XRP ledger, right? So we do have these kind of stuff to know. Ether went skyrocketed. It just did massive in price appreciation. Say, so looking at the start of Ether in this cycle, it was like $85. And right now, wow that's you know it just hit four thousand four hundred dollars so that's like it went crazy high now if you look at the news here it's really really interesting because back in the days it was like yeah we are going to come up with ether 2.0 which is going to be released by 2016 so you know uh, whether you agree or not it's having a lot of expansion adoption why because of the sec right they gave that kind of a green light, which now they are reversing, but that's the reality. So right now, if you are looking at the value perspective for XRP, what are you going to look at? How the network is growing. Why? Because we know this, right? If it's about a network, now remember this is going to be discussed in detail because Robert Metcalf is one of those co-inventors of Ethernet, right? When they're talking about this, understand they have seen this all. So when they're talking about this Metcalf's law, understand Google. The more people use it, the value goes up. Look at Amazon. The more people use it, the value goes up. So here, it kind of gives you a simple idea of what can be the value of that network. So if it has 10 nodes, its inherent value is 100. That's really interesting. Right. Let's go into the details and look at where we were before the 2017 bull run, mm -hmm. how it was changing the nodes, the increase in nodes and how it affected the price. And when the price was going down, say in 2018, how the increase in nodes affected the price. So you do have to understand the market cycle. You do have to understand the adoption. Then we'll come on to the current status of how many validator nodes are there. All of this is going to conclude you just one stuff, easy stuff. This is going to be Metcalf's, inside Metcalf, inside Metcalf. It's not just Google, it's not just Amazon. It's going to be way bigger than that. I'll explain to you why I think that. Welcome to the Scientific Investor family. Now, this is interesting that we talked about this. You know, a Bitcoin blast, a danger ahead, you know, all those stuff in last video. But, you know, if you look at like the average views, like 3,500, 5,000, that one only got like 2,000. Why? People don't want to listen to the reality if it's negative. So if the someone is going to say that the price is going to correct down soon, that usually get much lesser view. Why? That's one truth, and it's kind of, you know, not that great, beautiful truth. It's a panic kind of stuff, right? So when you look at all these, these are some of the chart I'm just showing you, right? These are Ether. On a three-day, Ether is about to break to the downside. This is a bullish pattern, but if it's breaking all the way to the downside, you need to go look at where the next huge support resistance zone is. Yeah, you get one here around 3,400, but that's too close to where we are now. So that means if we have a panic breaking out, then that means this resistance, this support is going to be the next one. So now put that in numbers. You take the current price and take it all the way down towards that support. That's 22 percentage to the downside. Now that's just an ether. And with those news coming out, you know, yeah, that is possible. Now you go look at the Bitcoin dominance. It's at the bottom. So you look at this one. This was the bottom on May 2021, right? That small altcoin run. Now in some assets, big altcoin run. So 
now we are at that point. If we are not breaking to the downside, we are bouncing. That means Bitcoin dominance is going to increase, which means already Bitcoin is dropping. So if Bitcoin is dropping 7%, you're going to see alls dropping 10, 15, 20. But at one point, it reaches the support. Bitcoin is going to reach that support of 40,000, 38,000. It's going to consolidate in that region. And that is where you're going to watch the Bitcoin dominance coming way back down, money moving into the altcoins. Because when you are looking at the altcoins, yes, you do have some downside, but the pattern itself is bullish. Now, you do have divergence, but you may not go much lower. Now, your support is so close here. Considering now, it varies from one asset to another. Say, for example, you're going into XRP, you are at the support range right the rsi the macd this one but yeah panic mode has been there we went lower we came back up all those happens so right now at this price point if the price is gonna drop back to that point seven range on a shorter time frame because this is a weekly trade showing you that we are moving to the upside so that trend is so clear but when you zoom in you look at the asset on a daily you're like okay fine this is a possibility we are going to come back lower to the recent support region right now when it comes down to that point what you need to ask to yourself is what is the price of this asset going to be because we know right now in terms of validation there are 150 plus validators on the network so those are the nodes now if you look at the network with 35 plus default unique node that's again no way close to the price so you go back to that 2017 that was 55 then it increased to 70 then you're coming up now at 150 so that's just the notes so based on metcalf no that puts us into a wow that is no explanation there the numbers even unbelievable for anyone in the space we don't even want that to happen because most of us would get a heart attack in that case but why i say it, like metcalf's low in metcalf's is like you go on to look at these say this is reason right december 21st 2021 so you just had this recently where they were saying this was a great hit why there was a lot of people coming on in different sessions to talk about projects being built on xrp ledger now, we talked about this in recent video, right? Say you have other networks like Palkadot, Cardano, and others where projects are being built on, being built on. So, its adoption rate is increasing. So, right now, you see this for XRP Ledger. It's starting that kind of move into the DeFi, the NFT space, you know, the central banks coming in. All of those into XRP Ledger. Not just the RippleNet, but into the XRP Ledger because that is where... The ESG concern, you know, the environmental, social, corporate governance kind of stuff that fits in the carbon neutral, that kind of stuff. So as you come down, all the developers which are pushing on this one is giving you another additional value. So when you actually jump on and look at what Brad tweeted previously, you know, understand this. This was that quarter where we had the panic, right? You go back to the price and look at that. From that one, ODL transactions are up 25x. That's not a small number. The value of the network is actually growing. Whereas the price of XRP Ledger is coming back down. Why? Because this is not RippleNet. This is XRP based on demand liquidity. And in just last quarter, it doubled. So when you look at all these and come to an idea that yes, the value is increasing, yes, it's being adopted by the various geographical regions, and you're going to see the reach and the network effect, you know, that flipping point, which we say flip the switch kind of stuff, it's slowly happening. It's not just one switch being turned on, but it's happening because when we look at all these this is literally happening, right? The XRP Ledger was built with sustainability and now it has adoption. So the adoption rate is increasing on a regular basis. And you go back to this one, which is, you know, last year in November. The panel has recommended that an alternative indigenous financial system be developed on the lines of similar systems. So what are they highlighting? For 
EU or from EU in sticks and from USA Ripple. So you look at a different alternative, need an Indian alternative to SWIFT payment, you're looking at all those stuff which is going to happen. So you come back to the price and like, okay, in short term, if the price is going to come back down and the value of this particular token is super high, as an investor, what should you do? Now, that's your opinion, right? For me, that's a buy, complete buy. There is no doubt that anyone who understands the fundamental, anyone who understands the progress of this particular project, going in as a seller, shorting the market. Why? Because when you short, all you can get, I say, ah, you're going down 100 percentage. Fine. And what are you going to make from there? 100. And what are you going to lose? It's going to be 100. Whereas if you're a buyer, you entered, say, for example, 0.8, thinking this is the base. Fine. If you're dropping to 0.7, that's not a huge drop in price. You can go through that. We have seen worse. Right. And the upside is enormous. So you look at an asset which is asymmetrical, which is having an asymmetrical upside. And then you get an opportunity to buy it low. There is no doubt what people are going to do. Now, yes, it's not only one asset in this. And we are seeing a lot of them dropping, dropping, dropping. You go in and look at like some of them are like way too red. We were expecting some of these to do well, but the current Bitcoin drop, the panic is making them an opportunity again and again. So right now, if you have dry powder, you're going to get best buys. But don't just jump in right now because the Bitcoin hasn't actually reached the bottom of 40. When it reaches there is where you're going to get super value to buy alts. If you are like, you know, I didn't have uh, much XRP like I wanted, say you wanted a million, you wanted a uh, hundred thousand, whatever. You're not near that number and you want to increase. That's an opportunity. But it's all up to you and your psychology. Because when you look at the market, you can be like, okay, this is negative. This is completely negative. That's the external stuff which you can't control. But the stuff which you can control is inside, right? If you can control your market and you're like, okay, fine. That's a sale for the asset which I want to buy more. So that's something you need to keep in your mind and retreat when you are an investor. Guys, if you received value for your time, please do hit that like and subscribe button. And to highlight this, yes, you do have opportunities. You do get understanding of where the price is going to do. Say, for example, we were discussing about one. Now, this is just a highlight for the altcoins in the entire altcoin space. But yes, we do have other assets doing something similar. Now, we were going through that, what we can learn from this, what we can learn from that. You know, all this put together is giving you an opportunity, right? So if we go on to this particular chart, which I posted for my patrons, which I'm giving it for you guys now, we do understand what's happening in the price. The history is repeating and it's repeating at scale. So here, when you had that, 10 percentage correction, 15 percentage correction. Here, you're going to have 20 percentage correction before you actually go back up. So you are, if you drop to the moving average, you're still inside this pattern, right? What's next? Something like this. Boom. Now, it's not only one altcoin showing this. There are a lot of them having this possibility of scaled up trend happening. So if you want those kind of updates, you can look at the Patreon. The link is given in the description below where I put my understanding of the market and what is coming. So if you are looking and combining these, say the market has a downside and you understand which assets are going to do well, you are like, okay, fine, I'm having a lot of opportunity. I'm keeping some dry powder as this one comes to the bottom support. I'm going to get a lot of alts in a cheap basket if you want to make more. So guys, that's all for today and I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye for now.